What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today we are doing my WWE Crown Jewel 2022 predictions video. Now at the time of this recording, the show is still scheduled to go ahead tomorrow night. If you're confused about what I'm talking about, recently it's been reported that Saudi Arabia is actually under threat of attack. Uh, so dangerous waters here, real life dangerous waters, but as of now, WWE is still scheduled to go ahead with the Crown Jewel Premium Live event. Therefore, my predictions video goes ahead as normal. If anything changes, I will let you all know. Anyway, guys, I will be watching the show live. I've got work in the morning, uh, but hopefully I'll be back in time in the evening. Obviously, uh, Saudi Arabian WWE shows have a special start time. They're not on at like 1 a.m. over here in the UK. They are on like later evening, like 6, 7, whatever. I don't know. So hopefully live reactions will be brought to you as normal. Uh, other than that, the only other thing to say is that SmackDown tonight is pre-taped. I haven't actually seen the results. So if there is any matches that go up uh, for Crown Jewel, as of tonight's Smackdown, then I will add them as always in the description and the comment section down below with my prediction as this video is being filmed after the go home Raw, but before the go home Smackdown. I think that's all of the stuff that I need to talk about before we actually get into it. So without further ado, let's get right into the first match. The first match on the Crown Jewel card is for the Women's Tag Team Championships. The brand new Women's Tag Team Champions Alexa Bliss and Asuka will be taking on the former champs Damage Control, EO Sky and Dakota Kai. I don't know why they're doing this, uh, even though Triple H has taken over and I've got nothing but great things to say. The one thing that I am confused about since this, he's taken over the booking is still the Women's Tag Team Championships. I just feel like they lack complete direction and uh, I, I think you guys would probably agree with me on that statement. They literally, uh, and by they I mean uh, Io Sky and Dakota Kai, damage control, dropped the Women's Tag Team Championships on Raw. And now they're challenging them again now. I mean, wouldn't it have not made more sense to have the title change take place at Crown Jewel? I don't know. I don't see the titles changing back to them again, uh, literally less than a week later. So I am predicting Alexa Bliss and Asuka to retain the Women's Tag Team Championships. The undisputed WWE Tag Team Championships are on the line next as Jimmy and Jay, the Usos, defend the championships against Butch and Ridge Holland of the Brawling Brutes. Now, I am actually really looking forward to this. It's a match that uh, we haven't really seen before. You know, WWE don't have that many tag teams right now. I definitely think they need to build back more or bring back more. Bring back Enzo and Cass, AOP, loads of people. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, WWE really need to fill out the tag team roster and having the Usos versus the Brawling Brutes. I don't think that's a match that we've actually seen properly yet, so I am looking forward to it. However, never bet against the bloodline that Usos are going to retain. Next up, we have a six-man tag team match. The OC, AJ Styles, Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson taking on the Judgment Day. Finn Balor, Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio with Rhea Ripley at ringside. This will be interesting. However, I am going with the Judgment Day to win. I am a massive fan of the Judgment Day since Triple H has taken over. Uh, you know, it was rocky in the beginning with the whole Edge stuff, but I am actually a massive fan now since Dominic joined. Massive, massive Judgment Day fan over here. So I am predicting them to go over the OC. I think it will lead to another match where then the OC will win or, you know, we'll have a big feud here. But I'm a massive fan of this, especially with the dynamic of having Gallows, Anderson and Styles against Finn Balor, you know, whole tying back into the club and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of this, but I'm going with the Judgment Day to pick up the W at Crown Jewel. A battle of giants is up next. We have the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman taking on Amos. Is this a match that we want to see? I don't know. I'm intrigued by it. So I guess that means yes. However, I am going with Braun Strowman to win. You know, I feel like Amos was hired and basically replaced Braun Strowman. And that's why Strowman was released. But Amos is still very, very green in ring. And uh, he still has a long way to go. So bring back Strowman. Make him the monster again in WWE. Have him slam a moss like Hogan slammed Andre. Because I think a moss is a fair bit bigger than Strowman. Uh, but yeah, it should be good. Anyway, Braun Strowman, I'm going with you to win. Let's go. A steel cage matches up next as the feud between Drew McIntyre and Karrion Cross continues. I am going with Drew McIntyre to win this one. Uh, I think this feud is... I mean, it's one of them, I'm intrigued by it, but at the same time, 
I'm just not really into carrying cross as much as I would like to be right now. Uh, and, you know, I'm still not into wrestling nowhere near as much as I was this time last year anyway. But Karrion Cross in particular was a character that I loved in NXT. Obviously, all the stuff happened on the main roster. We don't talk about it. He left. He came back. And just something's not the same. Something's missing. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if he needs to shave his head again. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's Karrion Cross. I don't know. Uh, but I feel like this feud with Drew McIntyre needs to be wrapped up and Karrion Cross can move on to maybe Gunther. I think that would be cool, having them two face off. I know it's Hill versus Hill. But uh, something like that, just move off, do something else, both of you. I'm going with Drew McIntyre to win and to end this feud. Coming up next, we have a dream match that is taking place for only the second time. Brock Lesnar taking on Bobby Lashley. I've got Brock Lesnar going over straight away because this match, this feud is definitely going to continue past Crown Jewel. So Bobby Lashley won at the Royal Rumble. Have Brock Lesnar win now. Then we'll have a tiebreaker at probably Survivor Series or something. I don't know. But I am a massive, massive fan of this. Really want to see this match. Just Bobby, please, please learn how to take a German suplex safely. I cringe every time I see you take it. But anyway, Brock Lesnar, you're going to win. A last woman standing match is up next as Bianca Belair once again defends the Raw Women's Championship against Bailey. This time, however, I have got Bailey winning, making history in Saudi Arabia. I believe, I don't think a women's championship has changed hands in Saudi Arabia yet. I'm pretty sure it hasn't. Uh, I know we've had the Queen of the Ring. Let's have a title change in uh, Saudi Arabia for the ladies. And I am going with Bailey to win. Obviously, last man standing, uh, sorry, last woman standing, excuse me. You can do anything. Anything goes. Bailey can cheat to win. She can do what John Cena did. Duct tape Bianca Belair's feet around the ring post. She ain't getting up. There's so many ways you can get out of this. Have Bailey win the championship while still protecting Bianca Belair. So I am going with Bailey to become the new Raw Women's Champion. And that leads us to the main event of the show. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship is on the line as the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns defends against Logan Paul. Now everyone is talking about that big right hand that Logan Paul has. The knockout punch can knock out anyone. Well, Roman Reigns doesn't seem intimidated to me. He seems annoyed that everyone keeps talking about it. But he ain't going to back down from Logan Paul. The Tribal Chief backed down from nobody. So, I have got Roman Reigns easily beating Logan Paul and retaining the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. I say easily. I think Logan's going to get some offense in. There's going to be a moment where he probably does connect with that right hand. But Roman's definitely kicking out at two. And then he's going to be straight back into it and uh, probably put him away with the guillotine submission hold by making Logan pass out once again. If Logan doesn't tap, you protect him for later down the line. Uh, or you can just have him get speared and lose clean. I don't know. But Roman Reigns, either way, is keeping both championships. But there you go, guys. That was my WWE Crown Jewel 2022 predictions video. Let me know your predictions in the comment section down below. Are you going to be watching the show live? I want to know your thoughts. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys at Crown Jewel. Goodbye.